Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Music Marketing TV. I'm Dan D, and thanks for tuning in to Tips and Tricks. In this episode, I'll be showing you guys what sidechaining can do to the bass line. Alright guys, so, um, as you heard, I'm going to show you guys how to do, how to change a really simple bass line, such as this. <laughs> it's just one note, you know, just one note, and then, you know, I added a little, little few changes up in the end. Right, and we're gonna make it sound kind of like this. And now it's really just going with my kick. Right, and uh, it's going with a little other pattern that uh, you know I kind of came up with. Now, so I'm just using my kicks to give my bass line some you know some cool movement alright guys so let's start off so I'm gonna create a little quick one two alright so here's my little beat that I just created and it's very simple and we're gonna add a bass line now and trying to keep that bass line simple alright so let's go in and add now you can add any any uh, synthesizer here but I'm gonna use Harmer just because everything's in the box for example, if I go to my effects panel, I have distortion, chorus, delay, reverb, I got some compression, you know, makes everything simple. So in this tutorial, we're going to have distortion and my filter one frequency tied to, well, sidechain to my kick. All right. So let's start off by making sure my kick is on the mixer. It's on one. Let's go to our mixer, make sure that's the only thing on there. Good. We're going to put a peak controller. Unmute it because if we have it muted, we don't hear it. We just have our information sent in. So I want to hear it and we'll leave it at that for now. Let's go to our Harmer and let's add distortion right from the get go. We're going to change the amount. Uh, we're going to have that tied into the kick. So let's do that. We're going to right click, link to controller. Right, we're going to go to the internal controller, look for peak, and then hit accept. See, so now there is connection between the two devices, right? So let's change my bass so it starts off kind of like that. You want it to start at least halfway. And the next thing we're going to do is go to our filter one frequency and pretty much turn it almost all the way down. So now we get sort of kind of like a sine wave happening. The next thing we're going to do is create another pattern that, you know, musically works with our kick pattern and tie it to the filter one frequency right there. All right, so let's make, let's copy this. We'll kind of add a pattern similar to the one that we have, add a few things that will help, you know, accompany the original kick. So we're going to go. Kind of, oops, kind of like that. There we go. So we, we don't want to keep it, you know, crazy. All right, you want to keep it very simple. And notice that as I'm doubling, for instance, right here, I'm doubling the kicks, the, in, the kick sounds more intense. So that's exactly what we want. All right, so now let's go ahead, assign this to the mixer. We're going to put this on two and let's go ahead and put the peak controller again. This time have it muted. All right. So we'll go back to Harmer and tie the filter one frequency to that peak controller. Kick number two, peak, except see now that it moves. All right. And let's start by throwing down, let's see here, a note. adjust the volume because it's way too loud and there you go you have a track that kind of sounds like lightsabers let's go ahead and tune it a little bit more let's go to our second kick 
controller here. Let me open up Harmo so you can see what's happening at the same time. Right, so you can see what I'm doing. I'm just adjusting my filter one frequency start position with my bass on the controller. Right, so that's basically uh, it for this tutorial. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, you know, some other things that you can do is add reverb to this, maybe a chorus. Gives a really aggressive sounding, um, you know, feel to your song, if that's what you're looking for. Um, I hope this helps. I hope this uh, gives you some new possibilities on what you can do. All right, so I'm Danny from Music Marketing TV. This is Tips and Tricks, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Peace.